Michaela, it's your soul sister Michaela, and this is my life on earth, not his story, but her story. If you're returning subscribers in the comment down below, in the comments down below, please be sure to put the numbers three through three. And if you are a new viewer, new subscriber, hey, welcome to my channel. Please be sure to put the number 777 in the comments down below. Okay guys, today I'm doing a quick little mini vlog. I am super excited. This is a long awaited video. This is a long awaited moment. Ever since I was like 16, 17, like every year I would get a new piercing and a new tattoo. And it is 2022, it's September. Well, it's about to be September guys and I haven't got one yet. And that's all I've literally been thinking about. Not literally, but that's something that is like literally been on to-do list. So I'm about to honor myself and get a piercing today. Stay tuned for the rest of the video to find out what piercing. Like I said, I'll be mini vlogging and I'm super excited guys. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready and excited because I am. I need y'all to be my support system so I can, we're gonna get through this You together. know that if you get piercings and tattoos, like you be amp, you be ready to go, you know what I'm saying? But then the moment you get there, you lie. So let's go ahead and go. Hey girl, I'm nervous, but I'm about to do it. You look cute. Yeah. Okay guys, so I'm with my friend Amari. We about to go get this piercing. I'm super nervous. She's my support system right now. So we got this, okay? We got this. Okay, I'm gonna be ready. I'm I'm probably gonna go home and make a TikTok and real as soon as I get back. <laughs> okay guys, so we are on the way to the piercing shop. The place that I'm going to, they don't do any appointments because I know a lot of places like after, you know, um a lot of places required appointments or you gotta be by yourself and all this good stuff. But the place we're going to now, you don't need any appointments, which is really, really good. I already called, talked to them, got all the information. Yeah, they're going at a great time because they do it based off walk-ins. Right. And if they're not busy, then you can just get in. Oh my God, that's even more nervous. Cause they was like, you'll come in, you'll fill out the information. And if there's a way, they'll text you. Just like, you know, you got the restaurant waiting on your food mm -hmm. and then you'll go in. But, um, so I got the price and everything. She told me I can't vlog when upon, upon I can, I can vlog upon entry, but I can't vlog, um, when I'm doing the paperwork. So I'll show you, I will be vlogging like when I actually get the piercing done. Do you mind holding the camera for me? Yeah, I can hold So I'm going to show, I'm going to show the process of actually getting it done, but I'm not going to show the paperwork part. So yeah, guys, we are on the way and I'm super excited. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I am now at the piercing place. I'm super excited, I'm super nervous. Um, we are about to walk in now. So after I do the paperwork, I'll be back and we'll be getting the piercing done. Okay guys, we are now in the room and I'm about to get my piercing done. Amari's gonna hold the camera. Super nervous, but at, at this point, let's just do it. Woo! <laughs> Ask you some questions to make this feel interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Um, you gotta come stand up right here for me so I can clean the mark them up, please. Alrighty. Um, oh, she was saying like you gotta stand by the bag. No, that you. You gotta stand oh, by the bag. Because she's talking about you. Okay. I'm listening. How many piercings do you currently have? I'm gonna ask you a question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's nine. Right nine. Now. So today will be eleven. Oh no, ten because I got a note. Okay, so today will be twelve after we get done. Fantastic. Uh, what was your first piercing, and how old were you when you oh, got that's it? That's a good question. Okay. <laughs> um, aside from all three of my earlobes, when I was like, like by middle school, I was done that. But my first piercing, other than my earlobes, I actually pierced my cartilage myself in the bathroom. Oh girl, she I got is my bar. edgy. <laughs> okay. And then what piercing were you most nervous about? Like you were scared to get? Mm. Is it this probably current this one? one? Yeah, probably. Oh, actually, I got a, I had a dermal on my finger. Uh, oh my on my goodness. middle finger. It just came out. That was the most nerve-wracking one. And it was hands down the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. I can imagine. Why would you get it on oh your finger? Gosh. I don't know. Talk to me about that. I'm just so, I'm a visual yeah, person. So I'm, I'm a like, dermal person. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like them. I know they're so like, I just like how they look like an accessory. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so cute. Can I get that on film? I like that. <laughs> that's cute. Period. I feel like they're like an accessory. So I feel like it's like I have a ring on. I don't have a ring on. Fair enough. Yeah. Except your hands are the worst place no. to get this. I was walking on eggshells for like a whole year. I had somebody get one right here. And that mm. was still the worst thing ever. Yeah, because it's Check it off. Oh, and mirror your dots. Make sure you feel it like you're straight through both titties. Yeah, because I know this one's bigger, so I can't really make it straight. Not can I report your spot? <laughs> I just wanna, I want consent, you know? I wanna be a great 
Camera okay, so even though they're just random dots, like it's originally gonna go straight through, right? Yes. Cause I'm like kind of OCD under that. They're most definitely not random dots. Okay. So. Okay, cause they look like it's like exactly on both sides. Straight through. Okay. And I marked your nipple when it was natural. So you've <laughs> twisted and turning, but straight through on both sides. Okay, cool. Yep. Ah, oh, oh, that is so her. cute. That's fine. Y'all gonna be so jealous because y'all can't see that. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're like the perfect person to record with. Yeah. Six. Now, questions for you, Miss Piercer. Um, <laughs> what got you into piercing? Um, somebody texted me and said, I like your personality. Let, come learn how to pierce. Wow. wow. So she came to me, thought I'd be good at this. And how long ago was that? A year and a half ago. Wow. Oh, wow. What were you doing before this? Grooming dogs. Did what you like that? No. No? <laughs> no? Do you like animals? Um, I do. I love animals, but you know, just not the, the grooming portion. That I had to have because I had done it some, and mm -hmm. I needed a stable one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 We appreciate so the honesty. Like a, this was like a really good opportunity of just being able to express yourself. I, I left a job and found a career. That's yeah. how I like to look at it. Okay. Yes, yeah. that's how I explain it. I'm at a job right now, and my manager is like, "You have to do this, this, and this." And I'm like, "For you, this is a career. For me, this is just a job right. until I can find yeah, my career." That's the thing. And I explain that to my family all the time because they're like, "Well, you have to keep it because it has benefits and stuff for you." And I'm like, "But I'm not happy here, and exactly. it's not my career. It's this is just yeah, something thing. I'm doing so I can get a career." Absolutely. So can I put these clips on your nipple? No. Oh my gosh, fun. Okay, I've been doing this in a while. Like I think since 2017, I got piercing every year. Piercing and tattoo every single. Year, before your birthday right no it's not even for my birthday like i just like you just want to get something but each it's year? around the spring or fall i always feel like i need a change in my life i'm oh, like so you manic. yeah so got I, it me too i'm gonna dye my hair <laughs> i just need to like do something and last like, time i was feeling manic i got this tattoo on my thigh <laughs> that's cute though Right, I love I did the same thing with a mermaid on my spine. I love death <laughs> and roses. My, well, death and pleasure. romance is what I love. Okay, and so and my mom was Woo! like, "Why do you like death and romance so much?" I'm like, "Girl, my favorite movie growing up was The Corpse Bride." What did you think was gonna happen? Are you ready? You yeah. got this, Queen. Thankfully, the clamps are. You know, people always say that the clamps are the worst part. I'm like, oh, if you think my. the clamps are the worst part, you really got some other stuff going. Just on talk through it to distract yourself. Yeah, deep breath. Below. That's it. I'm new to this, not true. I'm true, true to this, not new to this. Period, queen. <laughs> like the other one's probably gonna hurt. You ate that up, though. Mm, thank you. Yeah. The after effect is usually what hurt the most. It's not getting the piercing. Yeah, oh. you ate that up. Okay. Um. Woo! Some other questions. Let me some other questions. If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? Mm. I'm intrigued by wolves. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I kind of run fast. I guess, like, in my family, we to, like, run fast, so to speak. So, anything like a cheetah or something that runs fast. Did you do sports? Yeah, I ran track. But, like, my grandma, she was going to the Olympics when she's pregnant. So, like, all everybody in my family ran track at some point. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. anything that runs fast, I'm cool with. Whoa, cool. Ready? Mm -hmm. Would you like to answer this question while you're piercing? The animal? Yeah. I would be a horse. Period. Oh, we love that. She was quick with her answer. She knew. She okay. got asked that a lot. Mm -hmm. She was like, mm -hmm. oh. Mm. She grew up riding horses. Painful? Woo, yeah. That's it just kicked in? Different. Yeah. Okay. Um, trying to distract you. What was your favorite subject in school? Um, I love when people ask me this because it was never what everybody would say. I was the social studies and science kid. English was just so easy for me. I wouldn't call it like a favorite. I didn't like Let's be real. Can I read something I want to read? Can I write about something I want to write about? But science and history intrigue me. I like learning about history and I love science because it's intriguing and you learn new things. Mm -hmm. So, okay, deep breath. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't eat that one up as much, but you still ate. Trust me, this was really good. When I got my dermal, I was screaming. I said, <laughs> <laughs> When I got my nipples pierced, I looked down and I said, "There are knee there are nipples in my needles." Is what yeah, I, said. I looked down. I was like, I, I, "I don't think it kicked in yet." I'm like, "Okay, but you ate. That was kind of quick, though. Love this for us." Yeah. Oh, oh no, I'm pretty fast. But I love when people like talk and engage. I always tell people like, "But when I first started getting pierced, I was still new to this." I'm like, "Okay." If you give me a time frame now, don't just get me. I like to be surprised. I mean, I don't have any more piercings. I think I might want to get the other side of my nose pierced. But, like, that didn't hurt. Like, the lady was just like, take a deep breath. And she shot through. I was like, we're done. She was like, yeah, we're done. A lot of people don't think the nose hurt. And I just felt like it stained weird. Like, it wasn't like nothing. Yeah, like, my eye, like, leaked. But that was it. Like, I wasn't crying. I've been wanting this forever. 
I wanted this since I was a kid, guys. Twinkle tits. <laughs> I was like, what shirt should I wear, y'all? I was thinking so hard. I was like, black. Her, they're cooking out. They are? Don't say that. <laughs> You giving Elena honestly. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. We twins. We got to take a picture. It's giving me a photo. <laughs> How you feeling? I feel good. It don't good. really. It, no faint lightheaded disease? No. This actually feels exactly when I got my industrial, just like stinging. Yeah. So, five to ten minutes, that burning sensation will finally stop. Um, your jewelry is implant grade material. It is non porous. Your skin is not going to grow to it. Therefore, please don't twist, turn, or rotate it at all. Okay. Okay. The less you touch uh, your nipple rings, the better they're going to heal. Okay. There will be some fluid. It does look like. All right. It does look like pus dries up and forms crusties. Oh, yeah. Do crusties. not pick <laughs> crusties. Yeah. I'm glad Moisten you told them that. up. Yeah. Q tip them off. Picking your crusties is the worst thing yeah. in the world for your piercings. Yeah, I know. Easy Somebody said that to Elena. I used to do that with my ear ones. <laughs> Easiest way to deal with um, your nipple crusties is let the hot water run on your nipples in the shower. Okay, Last cool. thing you do, because it gets rid of all body washes and everything like that. Okay. Let the hot water run on them, take a Q-tip, spit it on both sides of your nipples, and then you don't really have to mess with them for another like 12 hours. Cool. Okay? When you're on your period, they can be more sensitive. Mm. Okay? You'll never notice how much you scrape through doorways and stuff. The car seat belt likes to sit right there. Right. Okay? For the first week while you're sleeping, I do suggest that you wear some sort of tighter tank top or like a bralette because it's going to feel good. Okay. Um, what else did people not tell me? Don't stand in front of the freaking fridge for too long. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, also in the wintertime when the things get cold, you're going to feel that. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. Um, yep, that is a true statement. In two months, you can change them out. Okay, for that a different is my one. question. Okay. Okay. Um, I would not add anything like extra decorative or dangly until you hit like that six months mark. Just, just to it, yeah. yeah, no more extra weight. Also, for that first two months, no oral contact. Oh, I already told him ahead of time. I said, you know, when this happens, you no oral act like contact. Don't His mouth is the dirtiest place. Yeah. Okay. Nasty. Now, heat of the moment, yeah. life happens. So yeah. I'm not gonna, you know, I can't yeah. tell you exactly what to do. Mouthwash. Remember to give him some mouthwash. <laughs> um, your nipples are gonna get like they're it's a super sensitive area of your body. Yeah. So the dirt in his mouth and the brand new hole in your nipple it Listen, just doesn't make so awesome sweet. Thank God. <laughs> you have any other questions for me? Um no, it was really just to change him out. I usually give it a while though, like when I feel like they heal before I change him out, but two months is not bad. But I usually like to wait a little bit. If anything, I'll probably like really okay so i'm gonna since we're recording i'm gonna finally tell why i decided to get my nipple spears it was always intriguing to me like just in general like i'm a visual person so to me piercings and tattoos is like adding details to your vessel like you're decorating you're expressing yourself so i'm like i'm gonna get my nipple spears because not only now have after i lost weight i learned to like really love my body more and i want to decorate it you know i've always been into that but now i'm like why not do the nipples and on a spiritual level I really wanted my nipple spirits because I want to get copper bars inside of my nipples because what's better than having a healing metal inside of an open hole on your body? I so, don't think. Thank you. And that's pretty much it. So that's it for copper today's... Also, oh, you saw um, what? Copper also enhances sensation. Copper also I enhances sensation. Look at me. I'm already on to something. Okay? On to something. But yes, guys, I'm super excited. I got my nipples pierced. If you're a new viewer and subscriber and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the like button, share with a friend, drop something in the comments down below because like I always say, we are all on a journey of our own. Hey guys, so I got my nipples pierced and I already hit it one time. The store was cold and y'all, let's just say it was cold. Okay guys, so we are now officially at the end of the video. Had to do the bell, make sure we still cleansing the energy. Don't get it twisted, you know what I'm saying? Um, Better late than never. Okay guys, it's the next day and the reason why I decided to record, I can reflect with you guys on how it is so far having the piercing. Like let's start off with y'all, it was hard for me to go to sleep, okay? The shower wasn't bad. I didn't, I made sure that I didn't like snag it and stuff like that and I kind of just, you know, rub this area a little bit. The soap didn't, um, I use Bronner's unscented soap and it didn't like burn or anything. So I basically, I didn't like wash it directly, but like, you know, the soap kind of rinsed down, the soap didn't bother it. 
um it was good it, it was hard for me to sleep overnight because i'm a side sleeper y'all and we all know our boob might move even with the even with a sports bra on or something being on my side like you'll be closer to that nipple than you think okay but yes guys let's talk about cleaning guys nobody then there's me i made my own pearson cleanser um it is it does have the sea salt in there so it is a sea salt water but how it's a sea it's a sea salt spring water however it does have a couple of herbs in there that will help with the healing process as well let's take a good look beautiful beautiful it's getting tea it's getting liquid gold you know what i'm saying but yes guys and um i'm not going to give the recipe to this because i am trying it because i trust myself as an herbalist and i have many years of experience with Pearson's I'm just gonna wing it and go trust my intuition not wing it I'm trusting my intuition and I made my own Pearson cleanser and I will be trying that after I get my review on it, how I feel about it then I will share it with you guys and if you're interested about that please make sure you drop it in the comments down below the last thing that I want to touch on other than sharing my aftercare experience um with you guys is I actually thought and sat on the idea of getting my nipples pierced for a very very long time guys like literally because it, i was caring about what other people think and i knew for me like it wasn't an intention it wasn't an attention thing i feel like if people feel like i feel like people feel like when women do certain things that we're trying to get attention now that is not the case on my hand in some instances it's the case but in most instances it's not we just want to express ourselves and be ourselves I just always had this connection with my nipples being pierced ever since I was younger. Not like super young, I'll probably say like in high school, um, like the beginning of high school or whatever. I kind of already decided like a few piercings that I felt like I would get, you know, just threw it out there. I even asked like my family and stuff like, how do you know, what do you guys think or whatever like that? And the only one that I got a negative um, rebuttal for was my tongue piercing, get my tongue pierced, which I don't have. But the other one is, um, well, they didn't really say anything negative about me getting my nipples pierced. I just really care what people think because I'm like, I don't want it to come off as I was trying to get attention after I already made the decision to get it done. Nobody really was in charge of my decisions or any of any of my anything that I do. I just did it. M Mom, can I go? OK, yeah. But I just felt like along my spiritual journey, my awakening, like this is something that I really, I was like, okay, I gotta honor my younger child. I have to get this piercing. Like, it don't matter how long it take me when. And every year since 2017, guys, I've literally been getting a new tattoo of piercing and piercing, either one or both, every single year since 2017. So we're in 2022, it's August. So 90% of the year has already flown by. So I'm like, something needed to be done okay i just really wanted it and why not do it for my birthday because my birthday is this weekend so i figured why not honor myself and get something i always wanted on a spiritual level and just as a physical thing you know so like you guys saw my meaning on me getting my piercings done in the first place like what was my real spiritual meaning behind it but yes guys the moral of that story was to please make sure you're moving um with what you feel, what you desire, and what you love, and what you want, because it's so important not to limit our thinking and limit what we can and cannot do based on what other people may or may not think. You see what I'm saying? You can't control what people are going to think or feel. I know everybody done heard this. They're going to talk if you're doing good, and they're going to talk if you're doing bad. So do what you want to do at the end of this. Day. Give you guys a little bit of back backstory about me, as far as like wanting the nipple piercing and like what took so, took so long and like while i was contemplating on it that's the word contemplating but yes guys if you guys have any piercings that you would like to share with me how many piercings do you have what piercings do you have or what are your favorite piercings that you have or what piercings are you planning to get drop that in the comments down below guys interact with me i want to know we all love the ones who are watching this video we all love piercings okay so drop it in the comments down below that's it for today's video i just want to share with you guys a little bit more adventure because as a life path number five there's going to be so much changes and i'm going to want so much changes in my life and that's part that's part of the reason why i wanted to share my journey with you guys of just being able to live as yourself and you know do what you feel like you want to do along your journey and share that with others we can help each other and we can give insight to each other without even knowing it just 
go with the flow guys that's it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one